you've got $1,000, and Saga is trading at 0 0.4336, giving you approximately 2306 tokens. You're not here for hype, you're here for structure. Saga is a layer one protocol, focused on scalability and application-specific blockchains, but today none of that matters. What matters is volatility and how you frame it. You run Arima 111 on recent price data to detect directional bias and wrap it with Garch 1.1 to contain variance. The model gives you a seven-day forecast, centered at 0 0.4 through 36, with a 95% confidence interval ranging from 0 p non 355 to 0 no 510. If price rises to the upper bound, your 1,000 grows to 1,275. If it drops to the lower edge, you're looking at 819 down. If it hovers near the mean, you hold flat. This isn't forecasting, it's defining a corridor. And that corridor is what separates you from reactive traders. RSI sits around 49.7, MACD is stable, and volume has risen 19% over three days, enough energy to support a setup, but not push it into chaos. You're not in this for glory. You're in this to manage. Every cent shift equals over $23 in P&L Delta. That turns small moves into significant decisions. That's why modeling matters. You're not planning based on trend lines. You're entering with risk tolerance and structure. You've seen your downside, 819s. You've seen your upside, 575. And in both cases, your decisions are pre-approved. This isn't a reaction. This is an execution plan. Saga's story may evolve, but your trade doesn't rely on narrative. It relies on price behavior, defined range, and probability. While others hope you're prepared, while they guess you've calculated. The Fear and Greed Index reads 60, favorable for controlled volatility. That means there's motion, but it's not irrational. You're stepping in during that zone. Your $1,000 position may be small in size, but large in clarity. Because clarity compounds. Most traders don't model outcomes, they react to charts. You've inverted that. You let the models inform you before the market does. That's why your downside isn't panic, it's preparation. And your upside isn't luck, it's planned exposure. You're not guessing where the token will go. You've drawn the lines and placed your entry between them. That's where calm trades live. And that's where edge is born. Not in being early, but in being exact. You don't need to predict the future. You need to manage the now. And that's what this structure gives you. When Saga spikes or dips, you're not caught off guard. You're in position. You've replaced emotion with expectation. And that transformation is what turns a thousand dollars trade into a professional maneuver. You didn't enter this for noise. You entered to test system over sentiment. And that's why you'll stay when others shake out.